stretch goals are believed to inspire a new level of commitment. They can lead to results that are radically beyond a firm's current output because they stimulate outside-of-the-box thinking, research and innovation. Many large firms like Tesla use stretch goals and are keen to extol their virtues. However, there exists no systematic analysis on the outcome of applying stretch goals in organizations. Researcher Saida Ahmadi made it the subject of her PhD at Rotterdam School of Management, Erasmus University. She is continuing her research as an assistant professor in strategic management at the University of Amsterdam. Stretch goals are actually extremely difficult novel goals. They look impossible given current capabilities and resources. Employees cannot achieve them with only working a bit harder. It's like they need sort of thinking out of the box, they need to overhaul work practices, and they need to be very innovative to achieve them. We did this study in a high-tech Fortune 500 firm. There were around 10,000 employees in 100 service units involved, and uh, the firm wanted to apply a stretch goal in order to stimulate idea generation among employees. So they wanted ideas that can turn into new products and services. Both participation and engagement were encouraged with the stretch goals. Uh, actually, it means that stretch goals could involve more people in submitting one idea and also they could encourage people to submit more ideas. What we found interesting was that the effect on people who haven't been submitting before were stronger than the effect on the people who have been submitting before. One other interesting thing that we found was that the amount of efforts which was wasted in this, you know, idea generation process, it, it looked like people were just throwing something in the dark. They felt the pressure of stretch goals and they just wanted to submit an idea regardless of the quality. There are three areas that I think need careful consideration before business leaders and managers apply a stretch goal. First, stretch goals bring motivation, but they do not provide ability. It means that they do not provide employees with the ability, for example, in our case, to discern qualified ideas from unqualified ideas. Okay, so it means that they can come up with unintended results for the organization and also like being uh, not able to reach to the goal can uh, create a source of, of uh, fear and helplessness in organizational units. Second, stretch goals are more effective on encouraging employees who participate for the first time compared to employees who have been generating ideas and being involved in the task before. Third thing is that stretch goals do not work for everybody. So we understood that they work better for the employees who have had a successful experience in the past with the task and also employees who have had a longer experience in the company. So these are the three points that I think managers need to consider before applying stretch goals in their organizations.